Hey guys, good evening. It is May 14th, which is absolutely insane. I cannot believe we are this far in the month of May. It's just, it's scary. Um, so I want to make this as short and sweet as possible. It just hit me the other day as we talk to more and more people, how people do not understand and realize the income potential with this position, with this opportunity. Um, it gets to a point where there's almost a certain level of frustration that you're like, you know, come on, I want you to see this. And we do our sneak peeks and like for our team, Abby goes over it and it's, she does an excellent job. But I just went to Lincoln, I gave him like zero notice and I said, can you do this? Because I want people to see, he like does his little anal Lincoln thing, but I think it's very important for us as coaches who are already coaches to understand what you have in front of you. We hear it time and time and time again, I can't afford it. And I listened last week to Jim Rohn, it's how to build your network marketing business on YouTube. It's like an hour and six minutes, I listened to it twice in a row. And when someone tells you, when someone says, I can't afford this, he's like, that's the person you wanna to talk to, all right? So that's what he says, it's phenomenal. So anyways, I just want you guys to kind of hear and see the clarity, but a couple really quick announcements. Um, first of all, what he's gonna tell you if the vital behaviors are not done, then everything he says doesn't matter. And I think that's the importance of what we have to do is the vital behaviors, because you could read and do 18,000 hours of training on how to earn, but if we're not doing the actions in place, it doesn't matter. So I just wanted to say that. Okay, um, and I just wanted to remind people of Summit, I'm gonna keep saying it and I'm gonna make people mad, but if you're in Indiana, you have no reason not to be there. And you can talk about me behind my back, but seriously, you guys have no reason to not be there. All right? So I will leave that at that. Um, oh, I've got stuff for my team, but I'll just tell them later because I know we have a lot of um, Jamie's team too. So I'm going to turn it over to Lincoln. And for those that don't know, he's my husband. And even for those who do know, former husband. Um, so, I, Christine, I'm sorry, I got to share screen. Tell me how to do that again. At the very bottom, you see the green little box? Oh, share. Okay, good. Sorry, I should have done this before. Okay. That's okay. okay. So click it. Oh, share. Okay, that's, sorry, that's not what I was going to share. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Here's huh? I hope there's nothing inappropriate on your computer. Um, no. okay. okay. So this is nothing fancy, but I'm going to walk. It's easy for me to walk through with slides. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk through basically how to make money. Some of this has been covered on, t on uh, sneak peeks for those who are on those on a regular basis. Uh, but I'm going to try to go into a little bit more detail. Christine, feel free to interrupt and interject as appropriate. I'm sure you will. Um, okay, so the first thing is really, how do you make money? It's by building a business. So what I've seen, so I've been doing this with Christine for, well, I've been a coach for going on seven years, but really um, intensive and kind of um, running the business side of it with her for three and a half years. Um, and I've studied a lot. I've watched, I don't countless hours of training and we've made lots of mistakes. We figured out how to um, not make, keep making the same mistakes again. So, um, the first thing is that I've seen lots of coaches who start making commissions. Um, even they get to Emerald, they start making a little bit, um, but they, they start getting those commissions and because that's the first way you make money and they stop, they get excited by commissions and all they want to do is keep earning commissions. And I'll show you the, kind of where all the Christine's income comes from percentage wise. Um, commissions is not that much now. Um, so the, the big thing there is don't get stuck on, hey, I made $32.49 in commission, I'm excited. That's great and that's a good start, um, but you can't just focus on that. So this is a business model and that's, that's the piece that I finally figured out three and a half years ago was that this is a business. I've been in business for a long time um, and it's always been financial services it's about money it's um, this is a business just like any other business 
Um, and those that see that, that it's not just about selling, and it's not just about making the commissions, are those that tend to do better in, in making, well, making money in this business. So um, one thing that I'm hearing a lot lately, especially, is that you shouldn't expect to make that much money until you reach two star. So there are people I've seen, again, over the years, people come in, um, get to Emerald, start making some money, and push for diamond, and that's great, and you gotta get the diamond first, but you're not gonna make tons of money as a diamond. And so people will get to their Emerald to diamond phase, um, and they can do that in months, but then in two or three months, you're not making tons of money, and then they get disappointed and they bail. This, just like any other business, uh, it takes time. Um, and once you reach two star diamond, um, you get there because you actually have a business now and you've got coaches on your team, you balance business with people on both sides who are building their business. And then that, that allows you to keep growing your business. Um, I work, I work now in my full-time job for a serial entrepreneur. Um, he started off in door to door sales. Um, he didn't make He actually did it at Purdue. He was in West Lafayette long 30 something years ago. Um, but he didn't make, he started his business that way, but he makes tons of money now because he has a team of people under him that are building his business for him. He didn't do it by just building his own by himself. So anyway, um, and anytime, um, sorry. if you have questions, if you have chat, I don't see the chat, but somebody tell me, Christine, what are your, your questions? Okay, so I'm gonna walk through now the types of income and go through detail. Um, I've got it all listed here, but I'm going to walk through one by one. The percentages after these are for Christine's last year of income. Where, what percentage of her income came from each of these categories? So if you look at your, I'm assuming if you've ever gotten a paycheck from Beachbody, you've gone to the earnings and commissions page and you see, um, basically you're seeing these breakdowns. Um, maybe not all of them, but you'll see the first five or six. Um, so retail commission. So as I mentioned, only 13% of her, her income comes from, now when she started it's a lot more. Obviously when you start, it's 100% coming from these the top two. But as you grow your business, this is gonna change. But these are the pure commissions from your sales to your customers. And the subscription are those that are, when they sign up for the subscriptions. But both of those top two are, are pure commission based. And over time, I've mapped it out and I've shared it with some people. Um, you can, you can watch over time that if you are building your business, you can watch those percentages drop and drop and drop. If they're not dropping and you're still getting a significant portion of your income from commission, then you're not growing um, as much as, as you potentially could. So the, the biggest one is the third one, the team cycle bonus. Um, that is, and I'm gonna get into that in more detail, but the team cycle bonus is basically everything is commission. But these are commissions earned when you cycle your team volume from your downline. And I'll get into strong and weak like a little bit. Um, but this is by you building a team. Uh, and more than half of her income in the, past, in the past year came from team cycle bonus. If you are getting a team cycle bonus, then you're going to get a match, potentially get a matching bonus as well. So if you have... Um, so as a diamond, you have the other diamonds below you or emeralds below you. Um, you're going to get a portion of their team cycle bonus. Not, you're not taking it away from them. But if you have someone on your team who's uh, cycling and they make $100 in a week, you get an additional $10 in a week. That's the matching bonus. So as you grow your business, every bit of team cycle bonus is going um, to be added to by having that matching bonus. This is especially important when you, when you place your husband or family member or significant other um, because you want them in a good place so that when they earn a team cycle bonus, you're getting 10% on top. Um, fast start bonus. So some people don't talk about this or haven't seen that, but when you sign up a new coach who buys Shake a Shakeology uh, Home Direct or Challenge Pack, you that's and they do it as they sign up a coach. So I'm sorry, as they sign as a coach you get a fast start bonus. So these are, they, they, vary in, they vary in size. Typically they're 50 bucks or a hundred bucks. Um, but I mean, if you, 
So really, if you're signing a coach, I hear Christine say all the time, if you're signing a coach, they should be buying a challenge pack or be on home direct. Nope. She's shaking her head. Yes. Interject. No, I just word it differently. Okay. Like, you just never sign a coach with nothing. Like, if you sign a coach for 40 bucks, that defeats the purpose because they're an active person, so it makes no sense. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, that's right. You're, you're there. Um, and then the, the good thing, on top of a fast start bonus, these two are combined into the 3%. But if you sign five, if you get five fast start bonuses in any rolling five-week period, they throw extra money on top of that. So, they'll throw another 100 on top of the, your fast start bonus. So that's the fast start plus bonus. Um, then the, the next biggest category for her is the, um, the quarterly bonuses. So when you get to two star, sorry, when you get to two star, five star, 10 star, 15, um, you get a quarterly bonus. Um, basically what they take 2% of the corporate profits and divide that among um, all the two stars, five stars, 10 and 15 stars. And then as an elite coach, uh, you get an extra, if you're ranked in the top 200, you get extra money on top of that. But as you grow your business, these are, this is a, a significant amount of money that you should be striving for. Um, and I mentioned it in here later, but really, right, really two stars where you, you start making money. And part of that is because you're getting a, a quarterly bonus. I think the two star last quarter was nine, oh, just over $900. Uh, as a quarterly bonus. Um, and that's just extra on top of everything else. So in the last bullet here, um, this, um, I think I can say 100%, it only goes to people who are consistently making success club. Um, and you know, I, I hear what I hear a lot of Christine's messages and all, but I hear over and over and over again, success club is a non-negotiable. Um, for lots of reasons. One, it makes you money, but two, you're setting the example if you're not if you're not consistently hitting it, then those that are watching you uh, see that it's not that important to you. But um, she had over two thousand dollars last year um, in these trip credits. So right before we went on the cruise, they deposited an extra two thousand bucks in her check just for um, basically it was hitting Success Club and hitting whatever the requirements were for those trip dollars. So um, that's extra income on top of everything else as well. Any questions or their chats, Christine? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, more in team cycle. So just to make sure everybody is clear on what a team or what is a cycle. So this is a generic binary, um, it's a generic network marketing diagram, but um, a cycle is when you, when you get enough PV uh, personal volume in a week and I'll talk more in a minute, but um, you, you're required to hit 200 PV on one leg, your strong leg and 100 PV on your weak leg. Every time you do that in a week, you get a cycle. Um, if you have 100 PV on this leg, and you have two, 250 PV on the, your right leg in this case, that extra 50 will carry over into, into the next week as carryover volume. But your strong leg in this picture, in this diagram, the right leg, is the strong leg because your sponsor, your your person, your coach, whoever signs you up as your sponsor or as your coach, that coach and everybody above them, and in between you, the, the extra little red dot between sponsor and you, all those coaches are placing straight down the right leg in this diagram. That's why you naturally will have more volume on your strong leg than your weak leg. And again, strong and weak very person by person. It all depends on where you were placed in your coach's downline. So right and left doesn't really matter. It's all about strong and weak. Um, when you, the first place you want to, the first coach you really want to sign, if at all possible, should be your spouse or significant other or family member or somebody that would go as your first coach on your weak leg. That's how you're going to maximize income. Um, I am directly on Chris. I was her first coach. I'm directly under her. So I benefit from all the volume that she's ever placed on her, on her weak leg, which is now really a, kind of half and half strong leg. But I benefit from all that, that volume that's going down that leg. Um, any questions on this diagram? 
So cy cycling is 100 PV on the weak, 200 PV on the strong, and that's every time. So, um, more team cycle bonus. So these are, um, it's the commissions earned by cycling team volume accumulated from your downline. Um, so that's, I already gave those definitions. When you get 200 on strong and 100 on weak, you get one cycle. As an emerald, a cycle is worth $14. As a diamond, it's worth $18. And actually as a ruby, it's 16, but nobody's a ruby for more than a week, so. Jamie has a coach right now that's Ruby. Sorry, I just had to add that because it's so funny. Is that right, Ruby? Yeah, she has a Ruby coach right now. That, that may be a company record. So, okay, 16 bucks for cycle for diamond. Uh, I mean, it's for, for Ruby. Um, but you can look, if you go from emerald to, to diamond, that's a 22% raise, basically. I mean, there's not a lot of places you can get a 22% raise, so if you look at it that way. Um, so as I mentioned, strong leg comes from you and your upline. Everybody that's above you on that leg is adding coaches. So when you see coaches in your downline that you have no clue who they are, you can actually click on them in the graphical genealogy and you can see their genealogy and see who, who their sponsored coach is. Um, but all the volume from that, from them will be in your strong leg volume. That means that your weak leg volume is 100% driven by you. So Nobody, there may be some very rare cases, but pretty much nobody's ever going to add a coach on your weak leg. So that one thing that um, that's important here, your strong leg can be, I mean, just tremendously strong, depending who on who might be on your strong leg. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how long you've been in the business. If you if you got in early in the business, like people always talk about, if you don't do anything to build your weak leg, then all that volume means nothing. Right. So, I mean, you can have millions and millions of volume, carryover volume. It, it means nothing and adds no value to you. There's no money coming from it if you're not building your weak leg volume. And actually the company, every time, um, if you have any questions, I can get into this later, but if the company does flush your carryover volume every 5,000 cycles. So you can't sit there forever and just grow and grow and grow your uh, carryover volume. We didn't realize that. And after, several years in the business, they flushed three or 400,000 uh, PV in Christine's carryover volume because we weren't, um, we weren't managing it properly. Now we're doing our best to manage it and, and get a balance. So the, as I mentioned, putting your spouse on your, is, should be your first weak leg coach. Basically everything that then as you start building your spouse's weak leg, you're doubling the volume. Because if you cycle on your spouse's weak leg and they're a diamond, that's 18 bucks. So first of all, you get 18, you get $1.80 on top of their 18. And because it was a cycle on their weak leg, that means that volume is also on your weak leg. So it's $18 for you too. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, Okay, I'm gonna come back to this in a minute. This is actually an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I had built this something similar a while back for some of you that have been around for a couple of years. Um, but this is a new version. Um, we will, I'll, I'll walk you through it in Excel. But basically this is a, a calculator that you can use to figure out exact, if you say I wanna earn so much money per week for team cycle bonus, you can show whether you're making 18 or 14 or 16. It tells you exactly how, how many cycles you need it breaks it down into your weak leg and strong leg, how much volume you need, um, and then how, essentially how many Shakeology HDs you need to have on each leg from your coaches or your coaches' coaches. Um, so we'll get into it in more detail, but this is a great, great calculator that you can um, reverse engineer what you need to do to make a certain amount of money that you want. Okay, placement strategies. Um, placement is, is really just where you're placing your next coach. Should it be your, your right leg or your left leg? Really, your strong or your weak? Again, I love helping. I don't know why I love this, but I, I love helping people do this. I like um, laying this out. I actually create diagrams. Um, I go back to I try to match people's energy or Christine's downline. Um, but if, if you're trying to build your business and you're putting forth the effort, I will, I will do a lot to help, help you understand where to place um, how to do this. Um, 
the biggest thing that I keep running into, um, and I will continue to remind people, but always set your placement before you send a share card. I'm seeing some people grimace, have a grimace look on their face right now. If you, if you, if you, um, if you send a share card without knowing where your placement is set, then you have to go back and fill out a form and submit the form and then try to change the placement. Um, so make sure the placement is set. I do it via graphical genealogy. I like to see physically where it's going to go. So if you go to graphical genealogy, you go down to where exactly the place, you click the little guy, you save it, he turns blue. And that's exactly where your next coach is going to go. Then you send your share card, you have no question, you know where it's going to go. Um, so an important thing on placement in, is maintaining balance. So there are no perfect worlds in Beachbody, except in hindsight. When you look backwards, you know exactly what you should have done. Um, but if you are setting this up perfectly, your strong leg will generate twice the volume of your weak leg. So if you have a very strong, strong leg, meaning a lot of other people are placing volume on that leg, um, as long as you're balancing, um, you get to, you'll be able to stack your weak leg. So you got to have buffers. You have to have enough coaches to hold your rank. Um, but then you'll be able to place more and more on your left or I'm sorry, your weak leg. Um, <clears throat> so for, for Christine's uh, downline, I'm very happy to help you here. Um, because it does get a little bit confusing. Um, there are actually a lot of other guys out there that are out there. I know that do help other husbands or other, um, other people that will um, that know the same information. Um, but I can kind of show you on a chart where you're strong, where you're weak, where you have buffer coaches, um, where a discount coach should go, where a business builder should go. As you're building for rank, um, you need to know if you're, as you're signing a coach, is this a discount coach you're signing or a business builder you're signing? Because that matters for placement too. You don't want to put all your business builders on one side. You don't want to put all your discount coaches on one side. Um, so a, a, an important point is the rank volume, rank volume. As you are building your business, there are two things you want to do. You want to build for rank, and you also want to build for volume. And sometimes that means changing your strategy back and forth and back and forth. So to get rank for each rank level, and I'm going to show you some videos or give you the links to some videos that can, each one of these topics you can dive deeper into. But as you want to build rank, there are certain things you need to do. You know, a, um, a diamond needs four coaches on each leg. One of those four need to be an emerald. As you grow in rank, you need more coaches and you need to have balanced coaches. Um, so as an, as an example, when you get to 10 star, you could have 30 diamond coaches under you, but if all of them are on the same side, you won't be 10 star. You have to have five on each side. So there are people that get stuck at nine star because they've only got four diamonds on one side. They may have 10 on the other one. So there is a balance you have to get into. And as you grow and grow, um, some of the links to videos will show you the detail um, or I can help too. Um, another advantage, when you get to two star diamond, you get to open up a second business center. There's a, there's a um, basically putting that on your spouse's weak leg, which when you guys get there, I can help you. Um, that's a place we actually messed up. Um, but if I go back to here where your spouse is, if you kind of go a, a crooked leg, you went to you spouse and then kick back to the right on this diagram, then you would actually get triple the volume as you build because you're putting things in your second business center, which are on your spouse's weak leg, which are on your first business center's weak leg. And as you go down a weak, weak, weak leg, you start multiplying the volume. I'm going to pause for questions. <clears throat> Christine, do you want to add anything? Okay. Okay, I don't know all the coaches on here. Um, just so, I mean, I know my team and I you know some of you, but just, I know this is, um, some of this is over your head and that's fine because it was over my head. Um, one thing I will say, like if this is completely and brand new to you, that you have to, you were given a new coach training. And so like, you know, this stuff is covered on the basic foundation. So what he's trying to do is just to kind of show you the bigger picture potential, but you got to start at the beginning and have it, you know, you have to know what Emerald means. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and I will say this, I still don't get team cycle bonus. I just, I've watched that video from Michael Neiman, if anybody has seen it, like I bet 20 times, right? Courtney's nodding. I still don't get it. And this is what I do. I just, I say, I just do my job. Um, there is an intention and a strategy with everything. So I know some of this doesn't make sense, but if you can just start at the beginning and just understand like what he's saying is like commission versus team cycle. And that will kind of give you, I guess, that a little bit more of a comfort to know that none of us got it either kind of thing, if that helps. And I don't know if anybody else wants to add anything. Um, Lincoln, you can, did you see the chat thread? There's some questions. Yeah, I did, I did. So let me answer a couple of these. So yeah, this, this, the, um, the, um, the cycle. So if you, if the cycle here, a cycle is just the accumulate, accumulation of volume. So every week, the, the system, I guess, adds up how much PV, how much volume was generated on, if you look at this diagram, on your, the orange and yellow legs, the orange and yellow coaches, that's the weak leg in this case, and how much volume is generated by all the red coaches. So that is every coach that is below you in the, in graphical genealogy, regardless if you sign them up or somebody above you sign them up, or if one of your coaches signed you up. It doesn't matter who signed up a coach. It's if that coach is below you in the organization, their volume rolls up into your total volume. And if you hit 200 on one side and 100 on another, it cycles. And most people are going to, as you grow, you're going to cycle. As you're very early, you may cycle once a week or you know, once a week. As you grow, you'll have multiple cycles. And you can, there's a way in the system you can see every time it hits 200 to 100, it counts day by day. So you'll get to where you're cycling more than once per day. And the system calculates it, reduces that volume on and on. So, um, so for diamond, um, you actually need, you need to have an emerald on both legs and then three other coaches. So you need a total of four coaches on each leg. One of those four coaches needs to be an emerald. And it, those, that is your personally sponsored. So let's say you sign up somebody who goes in um, each leg. If you sign up one person on each leg, and both of those coaches go create massive teams, you've only got two PS coaches. So you'll be an emerald forever. You have the, the, the coaches that are counted for your rank are only your PS coaches. For volume, it's everybody. For rank, it's just your personally sponsored coaches. Um, so your uplines, your upline can place wherever they want on either leg. So because you are on, you're on your uplines, either their right or left leg. So sometimes you will, depending on where you are in the organization, if you're on their left leg, you may see sometimes new coaches be, being added under you. Sometimes they're going to add coaches on the other leg that you won't ever see. So it, it, it all depends on where your upline is in building their business. And if I don't answer the question, ask it, ask it a different way at the bottom. Um, and as Christine tells me all the time, I'm not very articulate in my explanation. So um, I apologize if I confuse people, but um, she is going to share the, this um, PowerPoint so you can read it, read it and go review it. Um, yeah, so, okay, good. I'm glad everybody likes it. So here are, again, you'll have these. These are seven, I think. These are the same videos that I shared about two and a half years ago. So three and a half years ago when I started paying attention and helping, <laughs> helping the business side of this, I, I don't know how many hours I spent um, uh, researching, Googling. So the first two videos, um, so – some of these are from Team Beachbody. So some are the Michael Neiman ones. Um, these are old videos, right? And I, I, they, I'm assuming they're all out there on, um, on YouTube still. Um, there are probably up, more updated ones from other people. These are the ones I used. Um, I don't watch these. I haven't gone to look for other. I kind of I learned this and um, watched over and over and over again. And so I haven't gone back to look for updated versions. I followed Scotty Hobbs, his placement strategy. So just one caveat there, 
there are different opinions on how to place and how to make money. Um, based on our hindsight and based on what we have done in the past, messed up, and what we're doing going forward, um, I really like and I believe in this method. You will find differing views. Um, you'll find people debating which way is the right way. Um, so this is my way. It works for us now. Um, so I want to share it, but you're welcome to go. Uh, like my old shirt said, um, have you Googled it? Check the FAQ, all that kind of stuff. So um, feel free to go out there, look at these, uh, but then find your others, find others as well. Um, Yeah, so when you see people in your, in your graphical genealogy that you don't know, that's because somebody above you, you can't see who's above you. Um, I often wish I could, <laughs> just out of curiosity. I'd like to see all the way up, up the leg, but um, you will see new coaches appear. Again, it all depends on how new you are in the business, who your upline is, if you're on the right or left or strong or weak, but you will see people as you grow um, that you don't know. Just click in the graphical genealogy, click on them, and then you could check their genealogy and figure out who signed them. Um, and if it's signed by somebody above you, you may not know who that is, but at least it tells you it's somebody in your upline. Yeah, and to Christine's point, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, just be glad they're adding volume to your strong leg. So, um, so I see I see people a lot. I've learned to recognize names. So Jamie, um, Jamie is Christine's upline. And I see her coaches on a regular basis sign coaches on Christine's leg. And actually, I map all this out in Excel. So I track, I, I keep track of every time any coach in Christine's downline signs a coach, whether it's in her uplines downline or, or what. So, um, but every now and then you'll see new names. So, okay, I'll quit talking. So, um, Okay. Anything else, Christine, or questions? Stop your screen share. Uh, yes. Yeah. Here, sorry. No, I like what Jamie says. Don't worry about it. I mean, I remember as a new coach, everybody has that. They're like, who's that? I mean, I did it. Who's that person under me? And Jamie pretty much is like, doesn't matter. They're just helping you build your weak leg. So you just say thank you, and then you go build your weak leg. Uh, and that's the bottom line to all this, guys. And I know you hear it because I want to say, we all know it and we are all feeling it. May sucks. All right? May sucks. I know Jamie's team's feeling it. We're all part of it. Everybody's feeling it. It sucks. Um, it, here's just what we have to do is we have to understand that it sucks. And I've been kind of, in my wording, I've been kind of more convicted about that. And I heard this today, too, on a call is you put yourself first. And so I kind of changed the direction of my messages um, today. That I was like, okay, it's graduation. The next thing it's gonna be, you know, end of school, then it's gonna be family vacation. And then I told someone that it's gonna rain. And then you're gonna say it's too hot. And then it's gonna be back to school. So, I mean, I don't, mm -mm. so I understand it's hard. And that just means you have to talk to more people. And I know everyone hates that. You hate hearing that, talk to more people, but it's true, especially with May. And I tell my team, like, follow up, follow up with people that you've sent an invite to 10 times and just invite them again. You have nothing to lose, right? And if you just do these, the vital behaviors, then those legs are gonna build themselves. Well, you know what I'm saying. But it's just, you have to do the vitals in order for the team cycle bonus to exist um, and the income to come. Because I know a lot of times, um, Lincoln was not supportive for a very long time, and so I was doing it on my own, and that's fine. But I think when he saw the potential with me doing the work to back it up, because a lot of people say, well, my husband doesn't believe in this because he doesn't see the money. Well, where, why? What's going on that he's not seeing that? And so I don't want to say that to be mean. I want to say it. We were there. Um, so, okay, I like that. So did you see what Lincoln said? If you have a husband that wants to ask how they can help with him, I will say this too. They better know what, have them know what they're talking about first in the foundation. Because I've had, and I'm just respecting Lincoln's time because he's got like three full time jobs right now. Um, and 
I want, if they want to, no, I'm serious. Cause, and I love, I mean, we're giving and I want to give it, but it's kind of match your team's energy. Um, because I've had people reach out to them that had absolutely no foundation. And that's not that you got it. You have to have some kind of understanding of what coaching is. Um, we can share this call with them. Those videos that he shared were super helpful. I know he shared those with some of the spouses on the team. Um, and I'm going to shut up. Okay. There's more questions. Aw. Okay, Shelby, should I be trying to bring on someone I know will stay as a working coach once I've hit Emerald? <laughs> okay, you signed, get the diamond, you signed up, whoever you can. All right, I did not have a working coach until was I diamond. So I love you. You bring on a working coach before you hit Emerald, then I want to know what you're doing. Um, so you just, yeah, so bring on someone that's willing to work. But your husband, is your husband already a coach? That yes. yes. Awesome. Yes. How are you? Hi. There you Hi. are. Okay. That's awesome that he's so supportive. Yeah, he's like seriously, he is like all for this. That's so amazing. the national wake up call kind of like was good, but then threw me off when she said she brought on two working coaches. And I was kind of curious like if they were still working coaches. But I don't think it said that it went that far, but it kind of, like it threw me off. So like if I brought on working coaches, but then they fall off, does that bring me back down in rank? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so you keep adding. Moral of the story, never stop, keep adding. And that's one thing about these calls is that like every, you're gonna hear so many different ways to do it. And you kind of have to compartmentalize. I had to teach myself this and I know like I see Abby nodding. Um, you kind of have to pick and choose what you feel connects with you, right? You know, you hear, don't do cold invites. Build a relationship for 65 days before you send an invite. And that might work for you, but like, it just there's a different way to, you have to figure out, oh, he's going to say something. You have to figure out, yeah, Jamie says, we keep adding. I heard this today. Jamie, it was in the, it gets the two-star group, okay, from, um, oh my gosh, whoever she is, she's really awesome. But she said, oh, where did she say it? Oh, you can miss a day, but you can't miss two. And I thought that was really good. Because if you take your pedal off the gas, you're screwed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It. I'm sorry. Um, you know, that doesn't mean sending 65 invites a day. But if you do three to five, just when you're getting started, just don't let up. And I'm going to shut up. We never stop adding our teams. Those of you stop adding from them quick. Yep, that's Brittany. All right. Jamie took better notes than I did. But Shelly, that's a great question. And you you want to get business builders. I mean, I love your energy and I love your like, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't totally come out. Like, I watched a lot of the training videos in the beginning. So like a lot of these words I've at least heard. But yeah, like I feel like I could probably, and I know that in the beginning I was messaging Jamie like all the time. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'm like driving and Jamie, you're on here. Maybe I'm driving you nuts. So I'm like, okay, I need to stop messaging her so many questions. But then I like got super overwhelmed. So the national wake up call was very like relatable because I was like taking it all in and I'm like, okay, I, I don't even know where to start now. Now I'm taking in too much. So yes, yes, stop. But, but at the same time, it helps to kind of understand all the different genealogy and all that. Are Just you so Emerald yet? Idea. Are you Emerald? Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. And I kind of like halted at Emerald. Okay, then stop. Okay, you know, who cares about genealogy right now? You need to invite to coaching. That's what you need to do. You don't need to study a map and you don't need, you need to have people to sign and then you can worry about where to place them. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Focus on the vitals, the vital behaviors. That's what I always say. And I get guilty of that. I can overtrain. I'll do so much training, and then I'm like, I didn't invite today, which is not, you want to you invite, and then depending on where you are, if you feel like you've accomplished what you have, and I don't want to keep talking. I'm sorry, I'm going to shut up. Someone else chime in. Okay. Hey, the other thing I, I should have put in there, I don't know why I didn't think, was um, one reason why people don't make, another reason why people don't make money is they play defense. 
So this has come up a lot in, in some of our other team calls, but people get to, <laughs> no pointing fingers, people get to a certain rank and they, they spend their time figuring out, like basically only signing more coaches when they need to. So they hit a rank, let's say you hit diamond, you shouldn't stop at diamond and then play it safe and say, hey, somebody's about to go inactive, I need to replace them. It should be always growing. It's, people put a bunch of the comments there. Just keep adding coaches at all times. When you get to where you're playing defense, I mean, all the sports analogies, they talk about it. You don't win games by – I know defense wins games, but you don't win by just going on defense. You've got to play offense. You've got to keep adding coaches and signing and signing. So. That's all. You're, mu you're muted. Muted. Sorry, I was texting a girl that was supposed to get on, and then she just texted me she couldn't make it. So that's all. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Please feel free. That's why we're here. It didn't even have to be about this. You have a question about like anything coaching. I mean, Lincoln, if you want to hang up, you can. No, but no, you stay on. They might need you. Does anybody have anything about it? Wait anything inviting what you're struggling with this month besides the fact that may sucks here's what i tell my team and this is something else um because i know they get mad at me um because i love you but like when you're in a season so the season's may 14th and you have to look at your success club numbers and if you're not at success club then nothing else should matter no training no um scrolling social media or following other coaches, it's like doing the vital behaviors. And if you're doing five invites and maybe do 20 invites, 25 or something a day, and that's where your focus should be. Cause I know for me, when I hit success club, I'm able to breathe a little bit. And then I'm able to like, I kind of like to help, you know, mentor my coaches or, you know, spend more time in my challenge group. Not that I blow them off when I'm trying to hit success club, but you know what I mean? I'm like, you pour your, you pour your energy where it's, <laughs> What does Brian have to add? <laughs> Can I ask a question for Lincoln really quick? Yeah. Um, so on that mastermind call we did last week, I think she mentioned there was like a, a like what I need to make calculation type thing. Um, can we get that somehow? <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, I forgot to share that. Um, sorry about that. It's okay. But we'll send it to you, yes, but I will share it. So here it is. So can you, can you see that? Yeah, okay. So, sorry, I can't help. So, I'll just make it clear. Um, okay, so if you, this, this is the income coming from team, team cycle bonus. So, you know, what I did, if you want to set a goal for yourself that you want to make 100000 right, if your team cycle bonus is 56% of that, these are, that's a percentage that's Christine, everybody's percentages will be different. So don't take the numbers that I throw out there, and, and it's, it's not a hard and fast, um, but that would make your, the income coming from team cycle bonus 56, which, gets you, which would get you to 100, based on our averages. Um, that means weekly, you want to make $1,077 from Team Cycle Bonus. So if you put that in here in this little green square, and we'll send this to everybody, if you're a diamond or you're about to be diamond, um, go ahead and put in $18 here. That tells you, and this is a calculation that tells you, you need 60 cycles to make $1,077 you want at 18 bucks a cycle. That 60 means that you, you need 6,000 TV on your weak leg and 12,000 on your uh, strong leg. That then breaks it down into how many, um, this is at 90. So this only, because, because you can make volume from so many different products and so many different ways, this is just looking at Shakeology. If all you do is sell, get people to sign up under Shakeology, you need 67 on your week and 133. That's not you, that is total Shakeology HDs in your, on your weak leg or on your strong leg. So again, that's everyone above, everyone below you, regardless of who signed up. 
Um, there are ways, there are a lot, I mean, I don't know the number of ways you can make volume, um, but every product is different, you all know that. Um, but this is the calculator that you'll need to figure out and then you can, um, you can do the math. So, um, Christine, how do, you, how do you get this to people? Can you put this in, on your page, Keep Shine? Okay, Christine, I'll get it to you. <laughs> how do I share it to you? I, I sent you a link. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can do that to them too. Well, but all the people on this call. Well, I'll post it on the team page. Okay. Yeah. I'll post I'm it on the team page. I'm not a yeah. Facebook expert. What? I'm not a Facebook expert, sorry. No, I'll okay. give it, I'll give them the recording and the slideshow and everything else that they need. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? I don't know. Does like, is everybody good? Does this make him feel better or does it make you feel like, oh, crud? or anything like anything no no matter been on the wrong side we still have a chance to build our real our like business right because i don't like I just put people wherever at the very beginning i have no idea honestly which but i have a feeling he's on the wrong leg than what i want him on but I just need to keep making sure that I'm putting them back and forth and back and forth. And once he's emerald and my other one is, then just keep building and not worry about it, right? Have you looked? I have, and I don't have it in front of me right now, but I feel like he's on my strong leg and not my weak leg. That's my, okay. hus hey, my husband's on my strong leg. So we, we lucked out. We totally yeah. lucked out. I have no idea. Of, yeah, my second business center is not in the right place because we didn't know. I'm also on a dead leg, so like I have built everything completely myself. Okay. Like I have, I have no help, zero. So when anybody tells me they can't do this, <laughs> sorry, I have to laugh. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay. There, there's, there are better ways to do it than other ways. But once it's done, there's nothing you can do after five days. You can always change in the first few days. But like Christine said, we put her second business center in a wrong spot. But she's still making a lot of money because basically you just have to adapt. Once you know how your, your, your um, organization is set up, you just have to adapt how you place. So regardless of what you have today, if you balance the right way going forward, then you can still make lots of money. That's a cool dog. <laughs> so close. <laughs> is that is that it, y'all? I know, I know it's late for some of you. Um, I hope this helped, guys. I hope this helped. And you know, I know um I was telling my team, oh, it doesn't matter, never mind. You guys don't need to know like my life or whatever. Um, but we'll do more of these calls where it's just kind of open. Let's pick a simple topic and that way kind of educate and then give people a chance to talk. So I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm going to stop the recording.